Hello makers! Today I want to talk to you about this keypad with 16 different keys and how you can make them work with an Arduino. But to make it easy we start very very simple with a button. How does a button work? Usually you connect a button between a ground or a VCC pin and a digital input. Well, let's say we connect it between a voltage pin and an input pin. So you know you, the button is pressed when the input pin is triggered high. Let's show you what I mean. I have here a little setup with a white and a blue LED. The white LED is indicates the VCC. So I connect the one end of the button to the VCC and the other pin of the button to a digital input pin, which is indicated by this blue LED. And whenever I press the button, the blue light lights up, which means the digital input triggers high. Well. What if I want to add another button? Well, I need another input pin. And I connect another button between VCC and the input pin. So I can check if one of two buttons is pressed. And if I want to add another button, I need again another input pin of the Arduino, which I connect to the button. Now I can read the state of three buttons. I think you know where it's going. With every other button I need an input pin, which has to be connected between VCC and the input pin. In Case of um, in case of this 16 button key pins, I would I theoretically would need 16 digital inputs for the Arduino, and to connect it to the touchpad, I would need another pin for VCC. So one pin for VCC in, and 16 connectors out. But we only have eight. How does this work? Well, this is a connection matrix. You can see on the bottom there are only eight pins which are color coded with four pins to the left and four pins to the right. It's because the four pins represents the connection to the rows and the four pins on the right represents the connection to the columns. Hey, Let me show you this. We have this sixteen buttons. Now four pins are connected, uh, four of those buttons are connected via one pin uh, as each row. And each column is connected to the other four pins. So if you want to know which button is pressed, you have to measure between which of the four on the left and on the right is a connection. For example, if this button is pressed, that means pin two on this side and pin two on that side should be connected. So one of them has to connect to five volt and one to the, to the digital input pin. But we can't connect all those four pins to five volt at the same time. Because if you connect all four pins to five volt, we don't know if the pin 
the but this button this button this button or this button which is a little out of alignment is pressed i show you how we can solve this i have a little setup that i will connect we have here this five volt ring like in the setup before but instead of connecting the first four pins directly to this five volt I separate them with switches. So the first four pins. So the positive rail only is connected if I press one of those four buttons, or I can even press all four at once. So I connect the other four pins to digital inputs. So if I press the first button, I know when the first LED lits on the other side, it's the digit one pressed. The second, it's two three or a every other button won't lit up any led so again if i press the second the first row won't be active but the second row will indicate which button is pressed if i press the third the third button only i can i can only use buttons in the third row and so the first uh, the fourth you can use only buttons in the fourth row how do we achieve that well we can control those buttons with digital output pins each digital input pin can work as an output pin so so we sh should connect the first four pins of the pad to digital pins and declare them as outputs. The other four we connect also to digital pins but declare them as input. So we write a program that pulls each of the four pins to high for a short period and set it to reset it to low. And while set to high we read all other four pins out and check which of those four other pins is receiving a high signal. Let's show you what I mean. The program should work like this. First digital pin high, other, all others low, and read out those four pins. If none of those pins active, no button of the first row is touched. Second, check the second row. Third, Check the third row. Fourth, check the fourth row. Now, no button is pressed. So, I will press button five. And again, I will resume my program. I press first row. None of the buttons lit up. I press the second row. Ah, the second input reacts. So, I'm pressing the second button in the second row. That is correct. Checking again. Let's do another test without the touchpad out of focus. I put a second touchpad here. And can you guess which button is pressed? Do you know which button was pressed? If you're guessing for the button with the number 9, you are correct. Wanna try it again? Row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4. Okay, which button did I press? Correct. It's the button with a letter D on it. 
A connection to an Arduino could look like this. All of those pins are connected to digital pins on the Arduino. I think with this knowledge I even don't have to provide you with any code. I think you can do it yourself. I hope you could learn something out of this video, or maybe just you'll look at it for entertainment. If you like it, show me by giving a thumbs up. If you do have a question, leave it in the comment section. Until then, be creative and bye.